After staying in all of the most popular hostels here in Medellin, Viajero is one of my two favorite hostels. Let's start with the rooms. They're good, they're sufficient, they're quality. The nice thing about Viajero is that on the back side they have a river. So you can hear a little bit of the river sound. In terms of noisiness, it wasn't bad actually. I don't think I even wore earplugs, though you can hear the, the rooftop. I was on the, the floor just below the rooftop, I think four. I think the rooftop's on five. The kind of a cool thing was the wristbands. They're kind of big and bulky, but um, I took them off when I was working on my computer. But they open not only the door, but also the closets. So instead of having a safe where you have to memorize a number or something, these, these open those closets. That was kind of cool. The downside though was there was nowhere to hang anything <laughs> besides the hooks. Hooks were a plus. Hooks are missing from hostels. They had four hooks, but they had no hangers to hang clothes. That was a little bit strange. There was also no AC, but there was a fan for me, totally fine, but that's just something that maybe somebody uh, will take issue with. There was USB outlets on the wall charger. That was kind of cool. And the thing that wasn't so cool was you have to tell them again uh, that you don't want your room cleaned. I know that I'm probably strange when it comes to that, but I actually don't want my room cleaned every day. I don't even want it cleaned, cleaned every other day. I want it cleaned maybe once a week, but I had to go down there each time and tell them. And most of the time they got it right, but sometimes they would come in and clean it. They move your shit around and I just don't, it's unnecessary. The breakfast was terrible. Uh, you're seeing some photos right now. There's not much more to go, go into that about. Uh, I don't know if they charge me for it or not. Definitely don't go, go for that. Where they serve you the breakfast, they have, there's a restaurant on site. The restaurant name is, I've got to read it. Casa Once, a comida de la calle restaurante. Their restaurant, I went there twice. The restaurant has more words in the name than they have available menus on the item, uh, available items on the menu. Both times I went there, they were missing everything. One time there was three options on the whole menu. Luckily, there is a restaurant called Silvestre Gourmet. It is bomb. It has a lot of options. Uh, it has a nice ambiance. It's cheap. I highly recommend it. I ate there most nights and it's nearby this hostel and it's in, and of course we're in the uh, Manila neighborhood, which is probably, you know, Astoria and Manila are my two favorite. Probably Manila's my, my favorite favorite nowadays. The Wi-Fi was a little bit disappointing. It was only about nine megabytes per second. That's pretty damn slow. The rooftop was unique. Now what they did for their rooftop is they put two giant hot tubs in the rooftop. I thought that was kind of cool. It's kind of an easier way to meet people than a pool. The pool is kind of big, so you have to like kind of walk over to people if you want to meet them. But a hot tub, you kind of have to meet people if you go in the hot tub. The downside though, for someone who's a little bit shy like myself, is that you had to walk through the crowd to go to the hot tub. And so um, I built up the courage one day to do this. And I, when I get out there, there's people, there's one hot tub where there's four people in there. So it's like, I, I had to make this decision while I was like literally in my swimsuit, people are drinking and having fun. And I'm like, oh fuck, do I go in this hot tub and, and like, just tell people to make space for me? It's a big hot tub and all the corners were taken or do I go in my own? And I was like, then I'm kind of a loner. So I decided to be a loner and go in my own. And I was there for myself for a good, like 10, 15 minutes. I was about to leave. And then some guy came and chatted with him. And then some other guy with his girlfriend came and we chatted with them. So that was cool. But I think I like that better than a pool option. Now, of course, Messiah, they win with the rooftop. Three-level rooftop, they got pool, they got billiards, they got a hot tub, they got a space to chill out, they got a restaurant, they got a kitchen. The rooftop is the shining star of Messiah. Now, back to Viajero Hotel. The events were, I don't know if they had any events. Um, they Well, they did have an event on Friday, I think. Friday night, they had an event. There was some dancing, and then they do like a, one of those party buses at 11. Other than that, I didn't see any events, scheduled events. Of course, you could go on the walking tours and everything, which you could do no matter where you're at. But I didn't see any events. They're lacking, Viejero was lacking in the events category, I think. Now, when I was there, I know that the some head honcho guy was there to organize, to figure out what's going on and organize some things. Maybe they were reorganizing the events. I'm not sure. And the common space, they had a co-working space, a dedicated co-working space. That was cool. They had a, it was, it was the lounge area where there was a ping pong table. There are some seating and the kitchen, that's that's one big room. And then if you go outside, they have a, a small little outdoor area with, with um, basically two benches and that's about it. So I stayed there for I think nine or 10 days. And um, the, the guest policy, uh, I, my brother was visiting me at the time and he came into my room, they didn't say anything. And then I also had a friend come up while we were waiting for my brother to go play billiards. And she was able to come right up to the rooftop. Now, when we were at the rooftop, they asked us uh, for, after a while, after like five minutes, they're like, oh, uh, we're charging 10,000 or whatever. But if you just kind of walked in, that would have been easily um, 
ignorable. So the rooftop was quite open. The rooftop was as open as Messiah, which um, I do like. And there's kind of a party or something going on there every night of the week. So this, this neighborhood, Manila neighborhood, you got Los Patios. Um, they're actually closed off unless they have events. I think maybe you're allowed. You've got um, the Hero, which I just talked about. But then they have that street with the, the beer hall. Okay, that's my review of Viajero Hostel here in Medellin. I hope you enjoyed it. And actually, I, I like I said, I've stayed at all of the hostels, the most popular hostels here in Medellin, and a lot of the hotels as well. So if you're interested in something like the, maybe I should compare the Wi-Fi speeds or maybe I should tell you about the guest policies or more neighborhoods, give me some ideas here and I'll make a video. Until next time, ciao.